The Sri Lanka Institute of Development Administration or SLIDA plays a significant role in the public sector of Sri Lanka. The initial mission of the SLIDA was provision of training, consultancy and research facilities for a developed public service. The main aim of SLIDA is to be the best training institute in Sri Lanka for public sector training. Our vision to be the center of excellence for public sector learning. Our mission to facilitate the development of efficient, effective and forward-looking public service with training, consultancy and research. The Sri Lanka Administrative Training Institute was inaugurated on the 1st of October 1966 under the guidance of one of the renowned and veteran civil servants in Sri Lanka Mr. H. S. Vanasinghe under the theme of Vidya Dadati Vinayam. In 1979, it became the Sri Lanka Institute of Development Administration. SLIDA is not merely a training institute in Colombo. Though it is located in a busy place in Colombo 7, trainees who undergo training at this center have been offered a silent and green environment based on the SLIDA green concept. This is specially for sustainable development. This institute, which at the inception had several lecture halls, one conference room and an administrative block, today has all high-quality audiovisual technology with air-conditioned classrooms and lecture halls. SLIDA has all the components that are imperative for a fully-fledged educational institute, including a modern computer laboratory with a seating capacity of 120 trainees at once, and two main and small rooms equipped with high-quality technology. The library inaugurated with 900 books has now expanded with 40,000 local and foreign books covering subjects such as public administration, finance management, commerce, environmental status and all other science subjects and spheres. SLIDA maintains a stall within its premises to enable the frequent local and foreign participants to buy required books, stationery and souvenirs. The modernized hostel of SLIDA with an ideal educational environment comprises all facilities and features that are needed to tally for the purpose. The SLIDA gym has been designed focusing on trainees' study potential and physical welfare promotion of trainees has been completed with more facilities. Another unique place within the SLIDA premises is its cafeteria. The trainees on their arrival to this cafeteria could order and taste delicious food prepared using local and foreign menus. At present, SLIDA is entrusted with the responsibility and the training task of enhancement of skills of public servants. SLIDA responds positively to make every effort to offer qualitative public service to the nation. Further, SLIDA always supports and encourages to advance the public service through the provision of management advice, research and policy analysis. SLIDA has been entrusted with the task of conducting efficient bar examination EB, in respect of the Sri Lanka Administrative Service, Scientific Service, Engineering Service, Accountancy Service and the Information Technology Service since 2012. The new recruits to the Sri Lanka Administrative Service are referred to a training program implemented in two phases under the three categories of Open, Limited and Merit. This training program specially comprises of several components covering all aspects. The SLIDA training also includes in engaging students in surveys and training them in three languages. 
In addition, field-based practical training is the specific training components exclusively for administrative students. It includes personality development programs based on subjects such as training given by the police training college, yoga, meditation and two-week leadership training. With these performances, during the last two decades, SLEDA has been able to become the leading information technology institute in the public sector. The Information Technology Center of SLEDA offers all information technology programs as diploma courses for management assistants and administrative offices that are required for improving the efficiency in government institutes. By visiting the SLEDA webpage through www.sleda.lk, you could gain a comprehensive and overall understanding about the institute and details of its programs, diploma and postgraduate programs and international link programs. SLEDA has also commenced a novel program of digitization of citizen service as a locally made plan to test the new dynamic global trends. SLEDA, which has been recognized by the University Grants Commission since 2014 as a postgraduate degree awarding institute, by today makes efforts to advance the quality status of this field. It has specially designed postgraduate courses to suit the requirement of the public, private and the non-government sectors. It also includes the public administration activities and research. Space has been created to introduce a course for awarding doctorates shortly, in addition to the existing postgraduate courses. SLEDA, with its broader international links, has planned studies to award combined and joint degrees in the future, with HUST and Begin Universities in China. SLEDA has launched a number of programs for the enhancement of productivity in the public sector. SLEDA that was once dedicated for awarding management diplomas at the beginning has now expanded the number of training courses to 11 for trainees for both local and foreign to countries such as India and Bangladesh. Programs have been initiated to have bilateral linkages with China, India and Malaysia and to implement programs with selected universities from those countries. SLEDA, who always loves and has close association with nature, commenced the construction of a new guest house in June 2014 on a plot of land with a panoramic view located in the vicinity of Lake Gregory in Nuer Elia. This guest house, which comprises of all amenities required for people who are on trips and group discussions, makes one's tour in Nuer Elia more comfortable and joyful. SLEDA conducted its first promotional day on 12th September 2014 with the objective of promoting facilities at the Institute and introducing new programs and research programs. SLEDA, while undertaking the responsibility and the task of being engaged with the vast amount of government servants in an efficient and effective management mission for the development of the country, have dedicated ourselves for a period of 33 years for the achievement of that objective. Not only the public sector but also the private sector enjoys SLEDA facilities in an effective manner. The objective of all at SLEDA is to further commit in the future to achieving the target while extracting and testing optimistic approaches available for it.